Hello and welcome to the news. It's been another busy week in the world of toys, so let's begin with Hasbro, whose Star Wars Black Line will continue with a new 6-inch series scheduled for release early next year. Figures include Commander Cody, Princess Leia in Bush Disguise, Ig-88 and Obi-Wan Kenobi. It's not yet been confirmed which version of Obi-Wan Kenobi it will be, but it would be nice to get an Alec Guinness figure with a decent likeness. And then Medicom, who have released official photos of their upcoming MAFEX, Dark Knight Rises, Catwoman and Star Wars Stormtrooper figures. Both stand around 16cm tall, come with an adjustable figure stand and are scheduled for release in May 2015. Bandai have released more images of their Star Wars movie realisation Samurai Darth Vader. This figure will be 18cm tall, comes with interchangeable hands, lightsaber and lightsaber hilt and will have over 15 points of articulation. The figure is set to be released in December for around $85. The teeth on the helmet seem a bit weird but I think this figure is kind of fitting considering the influence of Japanese cinema on the original Star Wars films. Also, SH Figure Arts Alphamon from Digital Monster X Evolution has been revealed. This stands 17cm tall, includes Alphamon's signature navy mantle, interchangeable hands, three right and two left, a special display stand and Uruken weapon accessory. Alphamon is due for release in March 2015 with a recommended retail price of $75.99. And continuing with figure arts, official images have been released of the Cayman Rider ZO and Bull Eagle, which were featured in last week's show. Cayman Rider ZO was the star of the one shot movie of the same name from 1993. Priced at 4,536 yen, the figure comes packaged with three pairs of alternate hands, an alternate head with exposed brake toofer, and a scaled grasshopper that appears in the movie. Vul Eagle, the red hero from the 5th Super Sentai series, Taiyo Sentai Son Vulcan, has quashed rumours that the figure out Super Sentai line was no more. He'll cost 4,860 yen and comes with a selection of alternate hands, Vulcan stick, both extended and holstered, and the sword used by the second Vul Eagle. Pre-orders for both figures will go up on September the 1st. Still in Japan, Play Arts Kai have released more images of their Batman Arkham Origins, Joker and Robin figures, this time showing what accessories each will include. Robin comes with a figure stand, four sets of hands, a shield, bow staff and stylized batarang. The Joker comes with a figure stand, two swappable head sculpts, three sets of hands, pistol and knife. They're due for release in November and will cost 9,800 yen, which is around $94, but I can see that price rising once companies have had to pay to ship them over from Japan. Tamashi's Monster Arts Mecha King Ghidorah, which we featured last week, now has a North American release date of March 2015 and a recommended retail price of $200. And Kotobuki have sent out pictures of the forthcoming repaint of the Street Fighter Chun-Li the Shujo statue. This was first shown at San Diego Comic Con 2014 and they have now revealed that the 1 7 scale statue is due out in Japan in November for 6,800 yen, around $65. They've also fully revealed their Street Fighter Jurihan Bishujo statue that was teased last week. This gives us our first look at the whole completed figure scheduled for release April 2015, but no price as yet. Unfortunately, bad news for Toynami, the release of the Jumbo Lion Voltron figure has been pushed back from December to March next year. We got a look at this figure back at San Diego Comic Con and it looks good, standing 24 inches tall, but unfortunately the lions do not separate and it is quite pricey at $235. New photos have been released of the Good Smile Company's Silent Hill Pyramid Head Figma. We saw the prototype for this back at WonderCon. It will include multiple accessories such as his great knife and spear, alternate neck attachment, interchangeable hands and a posable figure stand. The figure will be fully articulated, even having some soft plastic areas to allow for a better range of movement. It will be 20 centimeters tall, is scheduled for release in April 2015 and will cost around $50. It does look a little too buff compared to the character in the game, but it still looks to be a great figure. They've also given us an updated look at their Figma Dawn of the Dead Stephen Flyboy Zombie figure. Images show the finished figure as well as the packaging and how the effects pieces can be used. It includes two Stephen heads and a machete head depicting the moment the zombie was killed in the film as well as a blood splatter effect, pistol, machete and figure stand. It's interesting to see a classic zombie like this get the Figma treatment. This is scheduled for release in Japan this week for 4,400 yen so will start appearing online in the near future. Tokenation.com have posted various pictures of upcoming toy reveals from Power Morphicon 2014. 
Of particular interest are the upcoming 5 inch Power Rangers Dino Charge figures. These were hand painted prototypes, so the designs are not finalised just yet. The Foot Soldier and Americanised version of Dugold do not have official names at the moment, simply being referred to as Villain and Foot Soldier. Also revealed was more information on the Power Rangers Dino Charge Megazord. There has been heated debate as to the individual Zords that would make up this Megazord. We mentioned in our San Diego Comic Con special that the Triceratops belonging to the Pink Ranger had been recolored purple as Bandai of America didn't think a pink toy aimed at boys would sell. However, after fans were outraged, they thankfully reneged on this decision and the Zord will be coloured pink. Each Zord will have a feature to be unlocked using the Charger, for example the Blue Ranger's Zord will have spikes on its back that pop up, but at the moment there are no plans to have the Chargers unlock the sound in the Megazord. Good news, the Amazing Heroes Kickstarter by Fresh Monkey Fiction, which we featured last week, has been successfully funded, receiving over $31,000 worth of pledges. We'll make sure to keep you updated with this as the line progresses. And they're on to another successful Kickstarter. Four Horsemen have posted an update regarding their Gothitropolis Ravens line. After a few road bumps, everything has now been sorted and the figures are in full production. They should be leaving the factory in Hong Kong by the end of September, taking six to eight weeks to reach Four Horsemen in the US. They'll then immediately ship the figures to their Kickstarter pledges before shipping pre-orders. Also, as a thank you to their Kickstarter backers for their support and patience, they'll be offering the Eagles, the Screaming Eagle figure, at 10% off to Kickstarter backers only for 24 hours starting at 3pm Eastern Standard Time on Sunday the 14th of September. Capo Toys are refusing to admit defeat with their Street Fighter Kickstarter. Their initial Ryu Kickstarter ended just over a week ago without being funded, however they've regrouped and are going to give it one last try. The biggest criticism of the initial attempt was that the only figure available was a Ryu and it was limited to American pledges only. However, this time around anyone worldwide can pledge and there is a choice of five different figures. Ryu, Sagat, Blanca, Guile and Chun-Li. Those who pledge $230 have the chance to get an extra sixth figure, Ken. The Kickstarter will last for 60 days and they're looking for $550,000 to be able to put the entire series into production or they'll have to seek private investors. Again, we'll keep a close eye on this as it progresses. Nika have released a couple of Planet of the Apes updates on hashtag Monkey Monday. Firstly, they gave us a preview of the painted master for the new dawn of the Planet of the Apes Luca figure. This figure will be part of series two, which is due out in November and will also include Caesar and Cobra. They've also posted a teaser photo for the forthcoming classic Planet of the Apes series two and series three figures, one of which is speculated to be Julius. Also hiding in the pick is a prototype alien xenomorph, most likely to be the dog alien from Alien 3. They've also shared the latest test shot of their alien queen on Twitter. She's shown towering over one of the 7 inch spacesuit figures from the first film. When released the alien queen will stand over 15 inches tall and be over 30 inches long, keeping her in scale with the other 7 inch figures in the line. She'll have over 30 points of articulation, two interchangeable inner mouths and will come with a special display stand. Additionally, Nika have released two packaging images. The first is of their upcoming Bioshock Infinite Booker DeWitt figure, which should be hitting stores very soon. This figure has been in development for a while, first being revealed back in March, scheduled for release in July, but has been pushed back until now. Booker DeWitt will be 7 inch scale and include shotgun and sky hook accessories. The second packaging pick gives us a look at the Predator Series 12 figures. This line will include the Elder Predator, Enforcer Predator and Viper Predator and again should be hitting stores very soon along with the standalone Bad Blood Predator figure. They've also revealed a Friday the 13th NES Jason Voorhees Glow in the Dark mask. This will serve to expand their video game themed products beyond action figures. It will be full size, wearable and comes in a NES themed box. Release is set for November. Diamond Select have released a Spider-Man vs Electro Marvel Select 2 pack. This is on sale now at the Marvel Shop website and is likely to be available at Disney stores also. It's priced at $50 and includes comic versions of Electro and Spidey, both of which come with a Power Rod figure base. New information has been posted on Marvel.com for the Spider-Man Series 2 Vinylmation figures by Disney. These are 3 inches tall and will be on sale at the Disneyland and Disney World Resorts in America from the 29th of August. I'm assuming these will also be available elsewhere afterwards. You can buy them for $12.95 each or $310.80 for a full tray containing a complete set. 
New images have appeared on Amazon of the DC Multiverse Arkham Knight figures. These are 4 inch scale figures and the line includes Batman, Robin, Scarecrow, Red Hood and Two-Face. These are marked as in stock on Amazon, however they aren't scheduled for release until later this year. Playmates have added new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle product pages to their website. These aren't linked to their main product pages as yet and include Nickelodeon basics for Bebop, Rocksteady, Karai Snake, Stockman Fly and Tiger Claw, as well as basic comic book figures for Leonardo, Donatello, Raphael and Michelangelo. They've also released package photos of the basic comic figures and the basic Tiger Claw and Robotop foot soldier. The comic turtles don't look as good as hoped, but they could work as a lower cost substitute for the Nika versions. Some great news for Masters of the Universe fans, MattyCollector.com have announced that the Club Eternia 2015 sub will now go through after the initial closing date was extended. This means there will now be another year's worth of figures, including Lizard Man, Ninja Warrior, Huntara, a club exclusive Oola, and more. They also intend to wrap up the vintage A-list characters as well as the Fall of Eternia mini comic storyline. Also, their line of oversized Masters of the Universe figures will be getting the subscription treatment. Following in Gentle Giant's footsteps, they'll be upscaling their classic figures. However, unlike Gentle Giant, these will not be exact replicas but rather new sculpts intended to capture the look of the 80s toys. This will launch on September the 10th and run until the 25th. Subscribers are guaranteed all four figures. He-Man, Skeletor, Stratos and Beastman, they will cost $75 each plus shipping and are scheduled for release one figure per month from September to December. However, you can wait and have all four shipped together in December. Sideshow have revealed the latest Hot Toys Iron Man figure, the Mark 36 Peacemaker Armour from Iron Man 3. This 1-6 scale figure will stand over 13 inches tall and include over 30 points of articulation, light up LED functions, interchangeable hands, figure stand and decorative labels. This suit is nicknamed the Peacemaker as it was built to control riots and keep the peace. This is a summer 2014 exclusive available for the first time at the Singapore Toy Games and Comic Convention on the 6th and 7th of September. The figure will only be available in select markets after that. Sideshow have also released a video showcasing their upcoming DC Comics Superman 1-6 scale figure. This figure comes with interchangeable hands and heads, fabric outfit and a posable fabric cape. It's up for pre-order at $199.99 and is scheduled for release January 2015. They've also revealed that they have a new Thor The Dark World statue on the way. It will be one quarter scale and pre-orders go live from September 11th, so expect more photos, information and the price to be revealed over the next week or so. Missed out from last week's show was the reveal of Sideshow's StarCraft II Kerrigan Queen of Blades statue. This stands 25 inches tall, is priced at $379.99, is available for pre-order now and will leave you feeling sexually confused. Speaking of sexually confusing, 3-0 have announced the Aphrodite A figure, the second figure from their Mazinga Z collectibles line. Aphrodite A is fully articulated right down to the fingers, highly detailed with LED eyes and stands around 38cm tall. Just like in the Mazinga Z story, Aphrodite A also includes Kushiroku missiles that actually eject from her chest. It will come with an exclusive Garada K7 severed head item. Pre-orders are available on the FreeZero website from 9am Hong Kong time on September 5th. Pop Culture Shock have also revealed another new statue in this week's newsletter, this time revealing the digital sculpt for 2000 AD's Slain. This will be one quarter scale and shows the Celtic warrior wielding his trademark Brainbiter axe. The design is still pending licensor approval so it is still subject to change at this point. Hollywood Collectibles have revealed new information on a Batman and Batman Returns Batarang prop replica set. This is due for release next year for $500 and includes three different Batarangs, two different size ones from Batman and the electronic one from Batman Returns. Megablocks have revealed more photos of their upcoming Assassin's Creed line, this time showing off some of the larger sets. They include Gunboat Takeover, Pirate Crew Pack, Fortress Attack and Borgia Guard Pack. All of these new sets are due to be released in October. And more building block news, there's been stacks of news for LEGO this week revealing what's to come in 2015. There will be new sets for all the existing lines and a few new themes have been added. 
They are Bionicle, Pirates, Elves and Jurassic World. Obviously we have seen Bionicle and Pirates before. There have been lots of details leaked about the upcoming DC superhero sets, which are confirmed to be Green Lantern vs Sinestro, Gorilla Grodd Goes Bananas, Black Manta Deep Sea Strike, Dark Side Invasion and Brainiac Attack. However, the Marvel superhero sets are still shrouded in mystery as that line will be attached to the Avengers Age of Ultron movie and so the sets could reveal potential spoilers. Paladone products have revealed a new series of brick based figures called Pixel Bricks. They feature officially licensed characters from Street Fighter and Sonic the Hedgehog. Sets contain around 200 bricks depending on the character and stand roughly 3 inches tall once assembled. Characters included are Ryu, Ken, Blanka, Sonic and Tails. They're priced at $12 and are due to be released in September. It's a good idea with lots of potential to branch out into other franchises but I'm not sure about the actual look of the figures. Funko have released images of an upcoming series of science fiction mystery minis. These will be blind boxed and include various characters from a vast array of sci-fi movies. Figures include Metaluna Mutant, Robocop, Spock, Classic Predator with standard bloody and translucent versions, E.T., The Rocketeer, Alien Xenomorph, both standard and metallic, Captain Malcolm Reynolds, Judge Dredd, Robbie the Robot, Tron, both standard and glow in the dark, Jane Cobb, and Mars Attacks Martian. Rarity will vary with the Rocketeer and Martian being the hardest to find with a 1 in 72 chance. Funko have also tweeted a picture of another upcoming Marvel pop vinyl figure, Howard the Duck. This will be a bobblehead figure and is not based on the 80s movie but the actual comic character who had a short cameo in the recent Guardians of the Galaxy film. Also Funko are expanding their already vast array of Disney pops with characters from the new Big Hero 6 movie. This line includes Hero and his team as well as two 6 inch supersized versions of Baymax with and without armour. These are out in October. And finally, Funko have revealed an exclusive Back to the Future Mighty McFly reaction figure, which will be included with Figure King Magazine issue 199. Marty also comes with an Einstein figure and will be on a Japanese language card back. So that's everything for this week. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.